How's it cooked? Um, rare. I know that for sure, because you cooked two, and I came over and I did a cheeky touch. If it's the same as the other one, it could be even blue. Yeah. Oh, wow. Starting to consider the time a bit. I haven't looked at my steak yet, so that needs to be my next job. This beef is beautiful. I fill it. I want it cooked rare today. Normally, you might cook it medium rare. I love eating my steak rare, and I know the judges do too, but there's still a fine line between having the beef cooked beautifully or still mooing. There's 15 minutes left. This Davidson Plum sauce, it's got the right consistency, it's got the right flavours. Now I need to cook this tuna. You can do this, Jess. I cut off a test piece and immediately it just sticks to the hibachi grill. Oh. When I try to move it, it's ripping apart. Come on, Jess, keep going, yeah. girl. Go, Jess. I've promised tuna on hibachi today. I'm not going to give up. Go, Jess. At Fire Door, oil is essential to making sure that things don't stick. So I realise what this hibachi is missing is the rack being oiled. Nice, Jess. Good thinking, 99. My tuna is finally cooking properly. I just want to sear it on the outside and leave it nice and rare in the middle. You want that name back on your apron. You want your place back in the competition. Ten minutes to go! Yeah. Talk about excitement. The bloody energy in this kitchen it's fantastic. is palpable. It's amazing. It's fantastic. I'm having one of those experiences where you wander around and go, what do I want to eat? I do love Yosra's dumplings, a shish barak. Pea and lamb dumplings, what could, what could possibly sounds, be more Sounds pretty delicious. But she said, I'm not doing the traditional sauce, which is uh, cooked in yoghurt, yeah. then cooked in yoghurt and they split. She said, I'm going to do them with fresh yoghurt. And I said, really? Can't we just do traditional? Because there's a reason why that tastes I so like, delicious. I like that split yoghurt. So do I. I haven't got much to go. The dough needs to be cooked in boiling water for a couple of minutes. I've taken the risk of changing a traditional dish. There's heaps of flavour in the broth, there's heaps of flavour in the filling, so I'm just hoping it works all together. This competition is all about dreams and dishes. What are your dreams? Five minutes to go. Come on. With five minutes to go, I have to demold this panna cotta. Looks a little bit soft. Go, Leah! Woo! Oh, 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 oh! Hey! Oh, nice work! Awesome, Leah! Oh, yeah. oh, the steak's looking beautiful. Go, Tim. Time to let it rest. Come on, Tim! I'm getting nervous. Time to play it up. I haven't left myself with a lot of time, so it's going to be down to the wire. Three minutes to go! Come on, guys, three minutes. Get on the plate. Plating up, I've got beautifully cooked pieces of tuna. Go, Jess, that looks beautiful. The fresh plums and the fresh radishes. And I realised this dish needs a peppery element. And rather than just cracking some black pepper on it... I really want to use some shiso from the garden. Shiso, where are you? Shiso? I have to get this shiso. I can't find it. Now's the time to decide what to put on and what to leave off. One and a half minutes to go. Let's go. Thankfully, I find the shiso and run back inside. I'm plating up my dish, caramelised onions and shallots around the outside. Come on! Miso butter. Let's go! Passive chips. It's it's coming together. It's looking really beautiful on the plate. Tim, that looks awesome. Maybe it's a good thing the twill didn't work. I'm not a twill guy anyway. I'm putting a twist on this dish. It's a very traditional dish. The judges know how it should look. Ooh. What is it? What have you cooked? This is my take on uh, shish barak. Stuffed it with lamb and peas and harissa paste and yogurt on top. We both said we would have probably liked the uh, split yoghurt. But, I, but, but until we try the Yosha's new version, how do we know? What do you reckon? Good luck. We'll have to try. <laughs> oh, I, I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. 
Um, the yogurt still gives you that kind of richness and the creaminess and the density, but the broth takes this dish into a much lighter sphere. You've championed the lamb and the peas, which were the two ingredients that you chose, but it's the fact that those dumplings are proper dumplings, mm. hearty and meaty and chewy, and that you want to go back for more. So I am very impressed. Thank you so much. Wow, you've set the bar, huh? Oh. <laughs> Tell us what you cooked. Lots of texture, for sure. Beef, za'atar, cauliflower puree, some roast cauliflower. Solid, really solid cooking. Everything on that plate serves to accentuate the cauliflower. And the, the meat is wonderful, but Great it's cream. it's the sort of food we've missed from you. It's toasty, it's textural, and it's really tasty. Thank you so much. Cheers. Tim. I'm nervous. This is it. There's no more second chances. If that steak isn't cooked perfectly, I'm going back to Ballarat. And what's your dish? I've made steak and mushrooms with a parsnip puree and miso butter. I've got to say that when I heard mushroom and steak, I thought, oh. Here we God. go. Here we go. Yeah. But gee, that looks like the best beef and mushrooms I've seen for a while. Yeah. <laughs> really good. Yeah, yeah. How's it cooked? Um, rare. I know that for sure, because you cooked two, and I came over and I did a cheeky touch. If it's the same as the other one, it could be even blue. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's not blue, it's certainly rare. And there's some little jammy kind of oniony. Yeah, I did some caramelised shallots as well, just mm. for a bit of sweetness. I think you've outdone yourself. <laughs> that is smashing. Thank you. Perfectly cooked beef. You said you want rare. It's rare, it's tender, and it, it does so much for that beef, because it doesn't need much more. It's just for people that love their steak like that, it's a dream. The parsnip puree, creamy, and it offsets all that caramelization in the mushrooms. That jammy onion or shallot adds a lovely little overriding sweetness. It's just all you're left with, Mushroom, beef, sweet onion. Love it. Thanks, Gary. Exactly what he said. <laughs> Plus, against all that soft creaminess, a little crunch from these pasta chips is wonderful. It's sophisticated and it's clever. And we always say we all love steak and mushroom, but if you can move that dish on and make us reassess why we love a dish, it's the best thing you can do in this kitchen. Wow. You're up there. Thanks, boys. You're up there. Thanks so much. Thanks, fellas. This is unbelievable. For the judges to really love my dish today, it, it means so much. Lovely. I think it's really going to help with my confidence. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Leah. This is my burnt honey panna cotta with coffee caramel and honey meringue. It's pretty and it's novel. The combination of burnt honey and coffee is delicious. All right, Dee, come along. Let's go. It's a coffee parfait paired with bacon. I think there's some great elements on there. Uh, I really do. I think the caramel's absolutely smashing. Fantastic to see all the new skills that you're picking up. Keep on going, Dee. You're going to go far. Yeah, well done, Dee. Well done. <laughs> Next dish, puddings. Ladyfinger sponge cake, toasted macadamia and raspberry. The flavours and the texture, really delicious. Thank you. Well done, good luck. Wally, let's see how you went. It's my baklava sandwich with fig and pistachio. The dribbly bits look great. The crispy pastry, uh, the crushed pistachio. Thanks, Ben. Oh! And the last dish we'd like to taste belongs to Jess. I'm so proud of this dish, but as always, when walking up to those judges, I start getting worried that perhaps it's too simple. Oh, yeah. Wow. And um, what's your dish? 
Davidson Plum, Tuna and Chiso. I, I think it looks Stunning. really pretty and I think it shows restraint. Mm. And the only thing I'm curious about is whether or not that Davidson Plum, which can be quite acidic, yeah. whether it goes with the tuna, is it enough? Let's see. Well, Matt, this is trouble, because I like that too. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? It's very good. Because what I wasn't sure about is whether or not that, that tuna would hold up to the acidity of the um, Davidson Plum, but actually it does. I think that maybe that little perilla leaf is, you know, it's just there for decoration, but it adds yeah. significantly to the dish. Using hibachi, that little smoky hint you get through the tuna really helps the dish. Trouble. Thank you so much. Good. Well done. Hearing the judges' feedback is just so gratifying. I couldn't be prouder. The only thing that would make this better is getting that top dish. And the dish that won its maker their way back into the competition is the one that set a new benchmark by which all other dishes like this will be judged from now on. Welcome back. Tim! Bloody <laughs> ripper! <laughs> yes. I've done it. <laughs> I'll get a scraggy old one. You put the nice new one on. I have to call my wife and yeah, let her know, sorry babe, I'll, I'll be going a bit longer. <laughs>